Hi everyone, welcome to video 7 in my IELTS grammar series. This one will be about noun phrases. Let's get straight into it. As I said in my original video, the way I see grammar is perhaps a little bit unique to uh, textbooks and maybe the way some people teach it. So I think this might be quite insightful for you guys, alright? So before I get to explaining how noun phrases work in my world, we need to look at what a compound noun is at a simple level. Okay, ba the basic idea of a compound noun, there's more to it than this, but it's basically noun plus noun. For example, business meeting, that's a noun plus a noun and it creates a new idea. Door mat, country music, peace treaty, car dealership, these are noun plus noun combinations, but you can basically think of them as one noun. With that out of the way, let's now look at how a full noun phrase is constructed. So the standard order, in fact it's always this order, is determiner plus adverb plus adjective plus noun. You might not have all of them in your noun phrase, but if you do, that's the order that they'll be in. For example, you might have the noun phrase, a really big dog. Ah, determiner. Really adverb describing big, which is the adjective describing dog, which is the noun. Other examples, the very important job. An extremely difficult time. In a sentence, he has an unusually high voice. And determiner. Unusually adverb describing the adjective high, which then goes on to describe the noun voice. Now generally you won't have all of these words in your noun phrase. Sometimes the noun phrase might just be the noun alone. This is possible if the noun is plural or uncountable. Even if it's plural or uncountable, sometimes there are more things before it, but these kinds of nouns are the only way this is actually possible. So cars is an example of, of course, a plural noun. Happiness, an example of an uncountable noun. So these words can be on their own. They don't need other words um, every time. In a sentence, I like cars alone. Happiness, noun, <laughs> noun phrase, but just one word, is important. Now sometimes you'll add a determiner to your noun, and that's all there'll be. This has to be the case if your noun is singular, as it says there. If singular countable, always use a determiner. Um, and you might even use determiners for other situations as well. So for example, my car, his fish, their house. In a sentence, I like determiner my noun dog. That would be determiner noun together. Now you might add an adjective to this. Determine an adjective noun, so a difficult test, an interesting question. In a sentence, I want a new car. Another variation on this structure is when you have that compound noun that I talked about earlier right at the end of your noun phrase. So it might be determine an adverb adjective noun, but maybe it's a compound noun, noun plus noun. Examples would be a really boring staff meeting. My Determiner, surprisingly, adverb, rich, adjective, work, colleague, compound noun. In a sentence, we need to deal with this extremely important business decision. Business decision meaning the compound noun, being the compound noun. Now you might even sometimes, it's not so common, but it's possible have two determiners and maybe the whole thing after it as well. So you might have something like this, my one really important decision. My is a possessive pronoun, but it's also a determiner. One determiner, really adverb, important, adjective, describing noun, decision. Might be a bit shorter, the determiner, many determiner, dangers. You can see here, double determiner is possible. For example, one of the many reasons why I lived here is the weather. So now you can see how noun phrases work and their variations. Here's a little test for you. I want you to be able to find all the nouns 
And then I want you to also identify what's before them. Is there anything else in the noun phrase? So this is actually a portion of an essay I wrote. It's a paragraph that I wrote for an essay. And what we're going to do is find all the nouns and find the words that are part of the noun phrase as well. The next slide will give you the answers. So I would suggest pausing the video now, finding them yourself to test yourself on this, and then we'll look at what the answers are. Okay, here we go. Next slide, and here are the answers. As you can see, I put the determiners in purple, the adverbs in blue, there's only one of them, adjectives in green, nouns in red. Now, there are other adverbs and adjectives in, in the paragraph. That's not what we're looking for. We were just looking for the noun phrases. So there you go. Go through those yourself. Um, notice the color coding and see if you were able to identify those things as well. You can then look at your own writing and see if you can find your own noun phrases. You can do this to any text. Um, I think once you get the hang of this, you'll be able to use more precise and more descriptive nouns. You'll also find in this text here that there are a lot of compound nouns. I think that might be a key to good, uh, to good lexical resources, to good vocabulary. You've got to be good with those compound nouns as well and noun phrases in general. I hope you like this video. I think it will be helpful for most people. To me, it's it's like a new way of looking at nouns that I didn't really know until a few years ago. So I think this might be helpful. If it is, share it with other people as well. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.